Sullivan shared details about The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, Season 4 reunion taping. On November 20, 2023, the Bravo host sat down with stars Heather Gay, Meredith Marks, Lisa Barlow, Whitney Rose, Angie Katzenavas, Mary Cosby, and Monica Garcia to tape the reunion show following an intense season. The seating chart released by Bravo revealed Garcia had a seat right next to Cohen for her first-ever reunion. On the November 22nd episode of Sirius XM's Radio Andy, Cohen cleared up some rumors about the reunion taping. After confirming again that Cosby did show up, she famously skipped the Sea on 2 reunion in 2022, he said, she was not out on the stage for the entire reunion, but she was out there for the exact right amount, and it was a really interesting discussion with her. He also denied that former RHOSLC star Jen Shaw appeared via video chat. There was a rumor going around on reunion day, that Jen Shaw Skyped in from prison or something, Cohen said. Did not happen. Did not happen, so if anyone was hoping for that, didn't happen. Shaw is serving time in a Texas prison for her role in a telemarketing scam. Andy Cohen said he'd be stunned if the reunion doesn't air in three parts in a separate segment on his Sirius XM radio show on November 21, 2023. Cohen talked to co-host John Arthur Hill about the great RHOSLC reunion taping. The reunion was great, he said. I would be stunned if it wasn't three parts. Mary Cosby was not there for the whole time but was there for a good time, and we had some interesting chats with her. Cohen also touched on the cast's reunion attire. The looks were really good, he said. I thought they all looked great. I mean, you know, it's so funny I always kind of on the day I think one thing. Sometimes I go in and I'm like, oh my god, this is the worst. These are the worst outfits we've ever had for a reunion. And then the photos come out and people are like, oh, they're serving. I'm like, oh, okay. Maybe sometimes things look different in person. I thought they looked good. I thought they all looked great. The Bravo host teased that Barlow's glam was a topic of conversation. We talked about Lisa Barlow's glam intake yesterday for a while, Cohen said on the Sirius XM show. She's very, she has glam people basically on retainer. Barlow did dish on her glam expenditures during the season. According to People, in an RHOSLC episode that aired in September, Barlow revealed that she spends $60,000 per year to get her hair and makeup done. I get my makeup done daily. My makeup artist is on retainer, the Vita Tequila founder shared. It's not just when I'm on girls' trips, it's not when I'm hanging out, it's for me to go to the grocery store. Barlow explained that she likes to have control over how she looks in public. Andy Cohen said the reunion taping went on way longer than expected. There was a lot to talk about at the reunion. The fourth season of RHOSLC featured a girl's trip to Palm Springs gone awry. Barlow's missing $60,000 ring kicked things off on the wrong foot a disastrous Easter brunch at Katzeneva's house, and a look at Garcia's toxic relationship with her mother, Linda. While the season is still airing, the first episode also teased a darker turn coming up when Gay gets a mysterious phone call. Following the long reunion taping, Cohen took to his Instagram stories to reveal that it went on until nearly 9.30 at night. We just wrapped. Daddy needs a drink, he wrote.
Cohen Time stamped the post at 9.25 p.m. Two drinks, he added, that was a lot. Those F asterisk 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 dark and stormies from Bermuda were not it. I am very late to my dinner reservation with my parents but that's okay, you know why? This was a killer reunion, he added. Wow. Read next. Original, Vanderpump Rules, Star shares secret about iconic scene.